Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ginger Snaps and we are jumping right back into Detroit. Uh, we're going to continue on with the story uh, and things have been getting kind of crazy. So we are just going to jump right back into it. We're going to see what's going on with these deviants. See if we can get Kara and Alice and Luther now to a safe spot. Uh, see if Marcus can save the androids and see if Connor can uh, befriend Hank a little bit better. So let's just jump right back into it. She's been surprisingly quiet and it's kind of weird. Did you know Detroit was on the Underground Railroad? A route for slaves escaping into Canada during the American Civil War? Wow. Yep, it was. In fact, it was one of the last stops. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh. Oh. You'll have to forgive me, it's been a few days. since I've played last there's Amanda there's that glowy boy I want to go look at it mm. god this is really pretty honor stand in the bright light sir <laughs> Don't mind me being chaotic. Hmm. hmm. All right. Let's go find Amanda in the rain. There she is. God, even in the rain, this is really pretty. I love a good rainfall where it's just maybe some low thunder and the, the rain just lulls you. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Mm. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. Hmm. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? Signs on the wall? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? I saved Hank. He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. <laughs> oh, Hank. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Oh. 
Oh, hey, Colton. Poor Connor. He just looks so much like a puppy all the time. Oh, I think this is one of my favorite sequences. Hank's house is cute. Knock on the door. Lieutenant Anderson. Anybody home? Nuances are not Connor's strong suit. <gasps> Sumo! Hi, Popper! Can we get in around back? Oh, Hankford! Hank? 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 Lieutenant Anderson! Yeah. Fucking breaking in. Let's go. Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. <laughs> so stinking cute. Weird. It gave me another directive. Hank! Hank, my boy! Oh, he's very drunk. Black lamb, scotch whiskey, 40% alcohol content. My kind of, my kind of man. Oh. Revolver, 357 with one bullet remaining. Hank. Traces of alcohol. Heart. Slight arrhythmia. No signs of trauma. Lieutenant. Ethylic coma induced. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's me, Connor. What? It's me, Connor. The I'm androids of my you cyber life. Hey, you have to warn <laughs> me alone, <laughs> you fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. <laughs> Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. Oh, hey. hey, hey. Come on, buddy. Sumo, attack. <laughs> Good job. <done>. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> Sumo, you big sweet. I think I'm gonna be sick. Well, don't worry. Come on. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Come on. I'm not grumpy, I just don't like you. <laughs> oh, I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? No. You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional uh -oh. who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. 
Oh, sit down, buddy. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. <laughs> There's some clothes in the bedroom there. <laughs> I'll go get them. <laughs> Connor. <laughs> you big fucking cutie. But before, let's let Hank sober up a second. No! Oh, I wanted to go search his house! Uh, oh, Hanky Poo. You drunk boy. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Hippy, stripey, streaky. Oh, I don't get to see. It's just what's happening. Okay. Now can I investigate? No. Can I can I be a nosy? I wanna be nosy and Hank stop. Oh, we're gonna have to clean up that glass. Poor Sumo! His little pupper paw pads. His feeties. <coughs> Are you alright, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Yeah, Hank. Ugh. Ugh. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia. Okay, so I'm. In her speech to Congress today, First. where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic. Autumn Blues, Michigan Brothers, Detroit Soul Records, nice. But this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Hank loves jazz. Many experts are suggesting the specter of a third world war draws closer. Every Sumo! Day. Hank really likes jazz. Deceased. Cole Anderson. Hank lost his son. Mm. Booze and drink on the ground. Must be his field weapon. Say nothing. Oh. Hi, Hank. Schnazzy. <laughs> be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Oh, Sumo. You good boy. You good boy, Sumo. Russian roulette. Oh. Gotta pet the dog. <laughs> Back at the docks? No. Is this a cyber life warehouse? Are we back with Marcus? Yep. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. All right, let's go.
Marcus run faster, but my guy. Watch out. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. So humans and police drones. Alright, time to hardcore parkour, which is what Marcus is good at. I'm not warmed up for quick time events. Oh boy. Cyber life, all right. Oh, okay. I'm too intently aware of my surroundings for that kind of stuff. My god. I do love his book bag. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. Reconstruct everything. Let's see. Would be too high. Too far. So this is the way we gotta go. Too high. So we go this way. Or be too far. Okay. And we bring it down and we rip it apart. Tear it apart! You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Yeah. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. All this stuff is registered, though, to, to Cyberlife. But I guess if it's... You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Uh... Grab and hide, hide, kill guard. We're gonna grab and hide. Because see, here's the thing. John! The communication with Cyberlife no longer exists once they're deviants. I need your help. John! So then being registered to BioLife is not... Like, BioLife, or CyberLife won't know. First the drone, now this. CyberLife wouldn't know. Interesting. Just my Sorry. Luck. My brain is... Catching up. <laughs> no Let's need to finish kill the up guard. and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. 
We still don't have enough. Hear the dog. AP seven hundreds. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? You could join us. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. Build our ranks. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. We get the key. We save right everyone. Here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. If you can save everyone, why not? Sneak in. Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that.
to cause a blackout. Threatening the guards does no good. Shit. What's going on? Lights are still on outside. There must be the fuse box. I got a flashlight somewhere. Here it is. The fuses are over there. I don't know shit about electricity. And I don't get paid for fixed fuses. Let's just flip the switch. That doesn't work. We can call maintenance. Shit. That was so intense. I couldn't I couldn't do anything besides just focus. <laughs> uh sorry. Get in. I just like laser focus so hard on that. Okay. Let's go. They have no idea. The public opinion will sway more our way if we don't hurt humans. A truckload! We stole a whole truck! We got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not going to beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! I always play this game at an interesting point. I always play this game at a different, or is it at a very interesting point in society? And I can sympathize with the androids on that one. Oh my. It's about to get steamy. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Oh, hey. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. 
Okay. Let's get going. Oh, poor thing. Jesus. All right, Connor. Ambulance down the way. Sexiest androids in town. <laughs> now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Hank. Welcome to Eden Club. Hello, sir. Um, you're very much not Connor. Closed. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Coming, Lieutenant. <laughs> oh my. You're not gonna take my license, are you? I, mean, I have nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. A dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Dead body and an asshole. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Why are you wasting your time? There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. So disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. Blue blood model WR 400 with that cereal. Let's diagnose her. So she's critically damaged. All right, let's check out weirdo face over here. I'm assuming he's got a weird face. Severe bruising, signs of strangulation, cause of death, asphyxiation. Deceased, Michael Graham, 6'2", 192 pounds, time of death, 624. So he's been dead for a minute. How was your heart, son? Cardiac arrest. Heart attack was not the cause of death. Well, yeah, no shit. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. Driver's license. Let's connect and see. Reactivation required. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Let's do it. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, direct. I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you able to speak? Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? And she's gone. So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. No fingerprint detected. Never had any trouble with androids before. No way. No. Once. We lost a model two, three months back. With the same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Probably don't have any CCTV. So skeevy. Excuse me, Lieutenant. You come here a second. Found something? Maybe. Hank, I need you to can rent you her. This Tracy. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better <laughs> things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Gonna look good on my expense account. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? The glitter on the skin. It's so oh, weird. Shit. What the hell are you doing? A blue haired Tracy headed towards the entrance. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. You. Hey, what am I supposed to- Let's try this one. This better be- It turned back into the club. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. Uh... There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? Mm. There we go. Turned into the red room. All right, let's go. What about you, bucko? No. 
I lost its track again. I've spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. <laughs> Hank. Sup, big dude. You didn't try. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Oh, whatever, Hank. Ah, okay. That's fucking creepy. No. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having I fun. I get it, Hank. There she is. Turned into the blue room. Would have headed this way. So what about this guy? Oh hey! Oh. Awkward. Okay. Uh. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this. This way. What about you? Wait. Can I probe you? No. Fine. I love the thought of Hank's expense account. We didn't see anything. I get it, music. Calm the fuck down. Uh... I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. All right. There she is. Hid in a room. It left the room. But we've already rented them. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't know anything. No. So she would have left the room. I lost now this track again. I can Spent ask. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. There we go. Fled through the staff door. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Yes, it is, Hank. Yes, it is. Let's fucking go. Wait. I'll take it from here. Okay, Hank. Yes, Dad. Hello? Can we- can we move? Thank you. It's a different serial number but the same model. There's a North model. Christ, look at him. They 
get used till they break and then they get tossed out. It's a disposable society, Hank. RA9. Oh, hello, Hank. Um, hello? Game? Am I not allowed to leave? Is Hank's collision too much for me to get out? Oh my god. There she is. Oh. Don't move. Is the Tracy? Uh, pull. Uh, uh, a kick. Oh. Missing quick time events. Ah. Jesus. The movement is so fast. Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. better this way. There are some things that I will Always pick. Let's do one more. Get a little Alice and Kara. 
and Luther. Thirty degrees. Fifty nine miles an hour. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids not go captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. Mm. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. This is true. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Hmm. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Oh. This doesn't look good. She's warm. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. I love and all the we can stay asymmetric style again. of all the clothes. Here's a road. Pirate's Cove amusement park. Over there. Luther just carrying her with one arm, just squoop. <laughs> Pirates Cove Amusement Park. Abandoned, I'm guessing. Given we need to find open. shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Look. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. anything no no place we could spend the night okay nothing there it's too open and drafty hmm. would you like your fortune All too drafty, but this place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. This looks like a secure building. Solid roof. Not cold inside. Yeah. Woo. I'll handle this. Okay. Big strong Ripley man. 
Come on, Luther! Yeah! Here we go. <laughs> find anything better let's settle in for the night i'll get a fire going at least it's not windy it's over here And a pillow. Oh, Jolly Roger. There we go, Alice. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Alice? We'll just leave the gun as is. I don't like that. Uh, hi, Alice. One big happy family. Do you think we'll be like them someday? I'll Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. The optimism Let's get you to bed. of children. Don't worry. Luther and I will be right here. We need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have nine thousand children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Princess. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different. And that made her very sad. Then she met a robot. Who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but. Together. But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way. They met hmm. another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Happy ending. 
they reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Hmm. Yes. Yes, of course. Night, Alice. <laughs> Sleep tight. It's cute. Let's talk to Luther real quick. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free. <laughs> I like the sound of it. Hmm. But I don't know what it really means yet. Snow. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? So many androids. Protect Alice. Grab stick. We're gonna protect Alice. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. Hmm. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Oh, the cherries. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> All right, fine. Come on. A carousel. Merry-go-round, whatever Be you call it. Be our guest! One can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. <laughs> Come on, Alice. Let's have a little fun. Jerry looks so proud. 
That moment of cute is, I think, where we're going to end it today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I uh, I'm glad we got to end on something nice and something worth smiling about. Um, a lot of good strides for happiness. I think in this episode. So pretty happy about it. Uh, <laughs> happiness. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're starting to see relationships really develop and really grow and, and I love it. So thank you so much for watching. And um, there should be uh, out on the channel a little milestone video. Thank you so much everybody for helping me hit 50 subscribers. Um, and moving on to bigger and better things. Thank you so much, truly. I really appreciate it. Um, but that video is for the mushy gushy. Here's where I will say thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, make sure you're subscribed, comment down below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Be good yourselves, be good others. Bye.